most fashionable race course is like a glorious garden, the spectators like guests at a garden party. Some have come to watch the racing, but most have come to see and be seen in the paddock, in the royal enclosure. It is society's most brilliant function. The gods that dictate to the world of fashion have decreed this year that milady's gown shall be shorter. And though many have remained faithful to those of ankle length, it mustn't be assumed that they're last years. This coronation year, it is Royal Ascot in fact as well as in name. The king and queen in their coach swept through the famous golden gates onto the green turf for their drive along the course. Big race on the first day was the Ascot Stakes, and a field of 29 left the starting gate. Farsi, Yonker, Quorn, the second, and Theddingworth soon went into the lead together. Past the stands the first time round, these two were in front, but there's a two mile gallop to go. Coming into the straight for the finish, it might be any one of five or six. Farsi on the rails is still leading from Theddingworth and Sir Calidor. Black and gold hoops nearest the camera are Valerian's jockey and watch him come up to win. Lying back and inside Valerian is kept on and kept on challenges. Hoops are winning and that's Valerian. Kept on second, Sir Calidor third. Ascot's first day brings a win for the favourite. Goody, goody. Goody.